very start. The start has scrap pieces of paper that are covered up with acrylic paint at the end of a painting session. These are leftover bits of uh, leftover paint used to cover sheets of paper and there are thousands of them. And then this is leftover paint too to start something like this. And there is no intention at all other than to say I know there are things that can be said that I don't know how to say yet and I know I have techniques and I know I have certain things that I like to do with the paint and if I just say I will play for this period of time whatever this period of time is maybe something will come out so that's how these these kinds of pictures come into being and there are a fair number of them and the formula for how they're made changes a little bit too but this is this is one way they're made and you know the pleasure of making lines the idea that a person has certain forms that they like over and over that happens that shows up I like making these globby things. I don't know what they are. They keep showing up. I like making lines. I like using black. I like making a connection between parts. You'll notice those lines between from one ball to the next. Almost as if one form is communicating with another one. The thing doesn't stop. It just keeps going and it's important that that happen that you don't actually try to predict much that the process of moving the paint and letting something develop letting letting a, a relationship establish itself uh, as a result of you doing something let that exert itself upon your psyche and that's how some of these start to be very suggestive it's not through any intention to begin with it's no there's no there's no way I'm starting this with a theme or a desire to make a certain kind of picture they just arrive as a result of well as a result of a lot of things but as a result of the process you know your inclination towards certain moods certain methods of doing things is always going to be there and that determines a lot of what you make too the love of black is a very deep ingrained thing and the black is made in various ways uh, it's never never a pure black it's tinted there's always a concern with space there's this sense that there's a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. There's a sense that something is sitting, that gravity is affecting something. Usually, not all the time, but, but often. Just like there's a sense that when you move through the world, you're moving in space. You're here and there's something behind you. There's something to the side of you. There's something in front of you. Just like there's a sense that when you look up at the sky, there's a sense that there's a vast airiness, there's a vast kind of emptiness that's larger than you, that's beyond you. So those kinds of things affect your sense of being and I suppose they show up in the work over and over and over and over and again. And uh, that's fine. All, that, all of that's fine just in the midst of all that there'll be subtlety and particularities that are going to somehow get into the work that are mysterious that's the fun of it really the fact that you don't really know what's going to show up and you don't know what it means when it does show up but at the same time you recognize 
that there's a moving towards something. You recognize when you're making a picture there's a genesis involved in that. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. There's certain things that can be done. There's certain things that you would not do because they don't seem appropriate. Um, a lot of that has to do with the elements and principles of art, of how things come together to form a unity, how they, um, how at the start you have a thousand options. After you make 10, 15 decisions, your options become limited by the uh, relationships that have been established by those elements you've already put in. These are all things relating to the process of painting that are, that are just inherent to how something is made. And that's nothing to be resentful about. That's nothing to, to buck against. That's just something that's part of, part of the thing that you're doing. Um, and through all this process, there's still this option that you can create this sense of something that's mysterious and something that's worth seeing and the something the sense that this whole enterprise is worth doing because you're uncovering potentially potentially none of this is guaranteed potentially you're uncovering something Ooh. that you want to see and never mind about the audience if you are the audience if you want to see it somebody else will want to see it so you're always working for yourself but yourself is every man somebody else will want to see it if you want to see it the wonderful thing about all this is that you know we start when we're 17 and it goes on and on forever you start when you're 15 14 12 and it's with you on the last day before you leave this place. <laughs>